seems the final chapter in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard saga is playing itself out, with Amber Heard now giving an in depth interview where, in the most passive aggressive way imaginable, she denounced the jury that awarded Depp the 10 plus million for her claiming that he abused her. Now, before I play pieces of this interview and tell you why I think she at times is living in an alternate reality, let me say that I initially thought that it was crazy for Johnny Depp to sue her. I saw that verdict against him in England where he unsuccessfully sued a newspaper for calling him a wife beater. The judge believed he was a wife beater. And so I figured he'll have a very little chance here. But then I, we, got to hear the evidence, the testimony from witnesses, including Depp and Heard. And that certainly changed a lot of minds about the case. But Heard still seems to think that the jurors and the public, who didn't believe much of her account, could not have possibly been basing that on the evidence that was presented. No, it had to be because he was a great actor, which, at least from my perspective, didn't mean a thing. There's no polite way to say it. The jury looked at the evidence you presented. They listened to your testimony, and they did not believe you. They thought you were lying. How could... I'll put it this way. How could they make a judgment how could they not come to that conclusion they had sat in those seats and heard th over three weeks of non-stop relentless testimony from paid employees and towards the end of the trial randos <laughs> as i say what the jury sat through hours and hours of witnesses who testified on herd's behalf as well they listened to lengthy recordings of screaming matches and arguments, depositions, and other evidence presented by both sides. So how could this group, mere mortals, see past the bright lights of Hollywood? Don't worry. Heard doesn't blame them. It's not their fault that they're just dupes. You but don't blame the jury? I don't blame them. It wasn't... I, I don't blame them. I actually understand. He's a beloved character and people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. Their job is to look at the facts and the evidence. And they did not believe your testimony or your evidence. I, I, again, how, how could they, after listening to three and a half weeks of testimony about how I was an uncredible person, not to believe a word that came out of my mouth, both sides argued the other was lying, and the jurors and much of the public believed his side. Heard all but accused jury members, who granted were not sequestered, of violating their oath and allowing their decision to be influenced not by the evidence presented for weeks, but by the response on social media, which was almost all against her. Vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. I think that this trial is an example of that gone haywire, gone amok. And the jury is not immune to that. Do you think it, the jury saw it? How could they not? I think even the most well-intentioned juror, it would have been impossible to avoid this. Heard's team says that they'll appeal the decision. I assume one of the claims about the jurors being tainted will be included in that appeal. And yes, there were crowds gathered outside cheering for Depp and booing Heard every time one of them went by in their vehicles back and forth to court. I'm sure that was very difficult and painful. But to say that it was that, rather than her often far-fetched testimony that sunk the case for her, I don't know. I think Savannah Guthrie got it right when she pointed out to her that her apparent inability to take any sort of responsibility may have been the biggest problem for her during the trial. When I asked his lawyers, why do you think you won? And the answer I got was, because she never took responsibility for anything she did in the marriage. I did do and say horrible, regrettable things throughout my relationship. Uh, I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. There's so much, I have so much regret. You know, I made a lot of a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, but I've always told the truth. And Heard is doubling down on the same claims that she made of abuse. Do you stand by 
your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse. Of course, to my dying day, we'll stand by every word of my testimony. He and says it doesn't he never hit you. He can't. never. Is yeah. that a lie? Yes, it is. What about the witnesses who said they have seen you instigate physical violence? I've seen firsthand how people will file rank and support the person they depend on. Did they all come in and lie in court? I am not here to call any of his witnesses any names. Except sort of is. Look, she could get sued again. I mean, she's repeating everything that got her on the hook for defaming Johnny Depp in the first place. Having been found liable, are you nervous as we are here today about what you can say now? Of course. I took for granted what I assumed was my right to speak. Do you feel like you could be sued again by him for defamation? I'm scared that no matter what I do, no matter what I say or how I say it, um, every step that I take will present another opportunity for this sort of uh, silencing, which is what I guess a defamation lawsuit is meant to do. It's meant to, <laughs> to take your voice. Heard even tried to give Savannah Guthrie, who is an attorney, a brief civics lesson on what freedom of speech actually means. For some people, they just were frankly disgusted by the whole thing and don't have much sympathy for either one of you. Can you understand that? Absolutely. I would not blame the average person for looking at this and how it's been covered and not think that it is Hollywood brats at their, at their worst. I'd, but what people don't understand is it's, it's actually so much bigger than that. This is, uh, this is not only about our First Amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. Yes, exactly. You can't go into, the free speech does not protect you if you, you know, go into a crowded theater and you scream fire. We get the concept of free speech from the Greeks. My understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. But truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And that's all I spoke. And I spoke it to power and I paid the price. By the way, that famous line, the one about yelling fire in a crowded theater, only applies when there is no fire, when it's actually a lie. Guthrie also brought up something else that may have significantly damaged Heard's reputation with the jury recordings showing Heard may have been the instigator of the violence against Depp. I am looking at a transcript that says, he says, you start physical fights and you say, I did start a physical fight. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. I mean, this is in black and white. I understand context. But you're testifying and you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight. And here you are on tape saying you did. As I testified on the stand about this, is that when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the resources that, say, you or I do with the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're living in it. And she kept coming back to the fact that Johnny Depp is an actor, even though she is too. In the closing arguments, the Depp lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. I'm the performer. All right, I give her credit. It's a good line, a little Edward Scissors hands reference. But I'm not sure why she did this interview. It didn't help her. It'll just make the people who despise her dig in their heels, and I can't imagine it'll change any minds. But most problematic to me was the way she talked about the jurors and the rest of us who had doubts about her account. They weren't fools and suckers taken in by Jack Sparrow. They were just ordinary people called to serve on a jury 
who after a six-week trial clearly didn't believe her. Come and thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.